Hello, welcome to another Vicon motion capture tutorial. Today we are going to take a look at our new object alignment tool which has been introduced with Shogun 1.10. Rigid object tracking has always been a staple of VFX motion capture, allowing users to track the motion of various props in addition to the performers themselves. Control over the axis of a rigid object is an important part of this, as it enables users to orient their props consistently within their scenes. While updating the orientation of an object's axis has always been possible, we have expanded the options available for how this is done in Shogun Live 1.10. The result is a wider range of robust alignment options that can be set up quickly. So first of all we have a few unlabeled markers in our scene which we are going to select and create an object from. Just a reminder that in Shogun 1.8 we introduced the ability to add and remove markers from props, so please check out that tutorial for more information. With the object created and real time paused, we click M to display the object manipulator. The top section of this is the same as it's always been, but now we have this additional alignment tool underneath. Upon clicking this tool, we are presented with a series of options, which we'll take a quick look at before demonstrating how they each work. The tool allows us to specify the alignment of two axes, primary and secondary. There are three sets of options for each. Axis determines the axis we want to set and its direction. Type represents the type of alignment we wish to use, and target is the specific thing we wish to align the chosen axis to. So let's say we want to set our primary axis to be X and for it to be aligned positively along the global Y axis. We select X plus under axis, axis under type and global Y under target. Now we are presented with an error. We can't actually use these values because the secondary axis has the very same target applied to its Y axis, giving us a conflict. So now we are going to change the secondary axis to target the local Z axis. We click a line and the object's orientation is updated. Now there was nothing stopping us from attempting to get this alignment freehand, but the purpose of this tool has been to provide absolute confidence in the accuracy of the alignment when it's set up. So let's take a look at another example. What if we don't want to align along an axis, but rather in the direction of a specific marker? Let's change our primary axis to negative Z, and when we select marker from type, a button appears under the target. We click select, and then we need to choose which marker we wish to align to. The name of the selected marker will appear by the button, and once we hit align, that's what the orientation is aligned to. But what if we don't want to align to a specific marker? What if we want to align to the center point of several markers? This is possible too. So let's go back to type and this time select center. Now when we click the select button, we want to hold down alt and select the group of markers whose center point we wish to align this axis to. This could be just a pair of markers or several. Likewise, they can be labelled, unlabeled or both. Now, next to the select button, we see how many markers we currently have selected. If we hover over this, the relevant markers are highlighted within the 3D workspace. Now, as you might expect, when we click a line, the axis is pointing toward the centre point of that selection of markers. There are no limitations on the combinations that can be used, as long as we don't select any combinations which result in conflicts between the primary and secondary axis, as we demonstrated at the beginning. A useful benefit of this is that we can quickly make tweaks, so if we are happy with the primary axis but not the second, we only need to change that and review the updated alignment. So there we have it, that's the new alignment tool introduced with Shogun Live 1.10, one of many significant improvements to our feature set that's been included with this release. Thank you very much and we look forward to hearing your feedback.